So welcome back. In this session, we'll be talking about some creation of some patterns using the nested loop. I hope all of you have gone through my videos of nested loop, especially the part one and part two. So if you're very clear with this particular, you know, nested loop part one and part two, if you've gone through this video, then this will be nothing but a cakewalk for you. Okay. So let us see certain patterns. Okay. And in this particular video, we'll be discussing only two patterns and subsequently other patterns will be also be discussed and we'll be taking the help of the for loop. Okay, so let's take the first pattern, pattern number one. So what I want to display is that I want to display these stars. Okay, so if you see like this, so it will in the first line it will come five stars. Okay, then it will have four stars, then we have three stars, then we have two stars and one star. Okay, so what I have done to make you understand is that since mm -hmm. I need to have five stars. Okay, if you see this is a column, this is a row okay right this is the this is entire this is the row okay and this is entire is the number of columns that we have okay and this is the number of rows that we have right and i have represented the rows with the value of i and sorry the columns with the j right so whenever the i value is zero okay we are displacing how many five so j goes from zero to four right then i is 1, then j goes till 3, 1 less. Then when j, i is 2, j goes till 2, again 2 less. When it is 3, it goes to 2, 3 less. When it is 4, it goes to 4 less. That is only 1. Okay. So like this, I want to create the pattern. So what I need to do is that I will be having two loops. You could understand one which will going to generate my rows. Okay another i will be generating my columns so row will be generated by i okay so whenever my row number is zero my column that will be displayed because i have to display five values so it will go five yes since we are starting from zero that is why it is four because in c we are starting from zero itself okay right so uh, you know that array index and all this thing so that that's the reason why you know we are making it into zero right okay so next uh, it is possible you can have one also one two three and four but let us stick to zero itself so next one will go till three okay then two let will go to three so how we're going to do this so let me uh zero to five okay right so we have this okay right now my loop will go from i zero to five yeah that's what it is so five rows right now my j my j will go first five times then it will go how many times four times three times two times one time that means five times okay right for i starting to zero next it is goes four times when it is below is i that means that is nothing but it is four minus one that is equal to three yes then it is four minus Two, that is equal to 2 right 4 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 4 minus 2 that is equal to 2 so 0 1 2 right 4 minus 3 0 1 so 4 minus 4 that is 0 till it will be executed so what I will going to do is that I will simply write 5 minus i right so now how how it will going to generate this first the value of i is 0 so 5 minus i what will go it will go till 0 5 minus i 0 right so it will go till till 0 1 2 3 4 yes okay then it will go next it will be 1 so it will be 4 so 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 right then then again i will be incremented to 2 it will go till 3 so 0 1 2 so this way the value of this lastly it will be 4 so it will go till 1 okay so let us see here i will print only print a what we need to display its percentage d and i am displaying the star so i'm putting it in a bracket uh, oh what i'm doing sorry i simply need to this right okay now see once this is completed I have to move to the next line so i'm putting in the print element because my column is over okay i have to go to the next 
I have to go to the next row. Once it is over, next I have to go to the next row before I start the value of i. So before I start the value of i, because this is where my loop is, right? The outer loop, right? Let me save it and let me execute. Oh, sorry. I N T I comma J. Yes. Save. Execute. Okay. Right. See. One, two, three, four, five, 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 four, three, two, one. Let me make it a little bit more. You know. Let me do one thing. Yeah. Okay. I put a tab so it will be more beautiful displays. Right? So you can see 5, then 4. Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Right? Okay, so it is clear. This is clear. Okay, so this pattern is clear. All of you, I, I think this pattern is clear now. Now let's move to the next pattern. Next pattern is C. Okay, now it will go I, I is 0, J is also 0. I is 1, J is also 1. I is 2, J is also 2. I is 3, J is also 3. I is 4, J is also 4. That means it is very easy, right? Till I should go where? Till I should go nothing but I. Okay, now I have to put equal to I. So it will be 0. Yes, so first I is 0, I is 0. Okay, uh, one minute, one minute, one minute. Let me do one thing. Let this be there. So Next pattern, let me do it like this. So, the previous pattern is there. Okay. So, printf the next, next pattern slash n. Okay. Okay. So, next pattern equal i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 j is uh, sorry i is equal to 2 j is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 j is equal to 3 right i is equal to 4 j is equal to 4 okay let's move so i have put this is nothing but equal to i okay let me say so i is 0, j will go till 0. i is 1, j will go till 1. i is 2, j will go till 2. Okay, fine. Let me save. Yes, so the next pattern I have is this. First pattern I got this. Next pattern I got this. Okay, right. So the first thing is that what I am doing, I was, I was simply having both, you know, I when I is 0, J is at the maximum. And when I is also minimum, J is also, I when I, sorry, I is maximum, J is the minimum value. That is what in the first pattern, right? So that is the reason why, why I was putting like this, right? 5 minus I, maximum value minus I, right? So next, again, the pattern, both are equal. So that is the reason why I have put a J less than equal to I, yes? So this is what the uh, the code for writing pattern. This we can convert into while loop also. I can have a I can easily do with it while loop and all. Okay, but you know more structured and specified we can do using for loop. So it must become easier to do so. So that is the reason why we have done with the for loop itself. Okay. Uh, next we'll see how we can modify this pattern with some kind of you know not only displaying star but let us display some numbers. Okay, we can now play with some numbers also right? i hope the entire concept is clear again i am revisiting since for first of the row i have the maximum values okay so my my 
j will go to maximum time that is okay uh, that, that is five times because I have, I have five right so i is equal to here is zero now when i is equal to one so j will go one lesser than that is what we required in this particular pattern one lesser then again one lesser one lesser one lesser right yes so that is why why it is minus i i is incrementing and the j will be decrementing here but in the next pattern what we have seen is that i value and j value is same right that is the reason why when i is i is going i is equal to zero i less than five it is going till j is going till i okay right so i hope this particular pattern this particular pattern and this particular pattern is clear okay so as we can see we got the output as this okay so thank you so much